Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as we do have generally quite warm conditions for all today and for some even lingering into tomorrow and the weekend still a little bit humid in the east so things are on the up right now and as we progress into next week there are increasing signs that as we head towards the end of next working week into the weekend things could start to get very warm if not very hot on some of the longer range runs so can likely high pressure is going to build to our east and it's going to allow a south or southeasterly flow we've been seeing hints of it over the last few days but all three main models are on board and majority of the ensemble members showing those upper air temperatures getting well above average some getting as much as five to ten degrees above average for the time of year and it would equate to temperatures at the surface widely in the mid to high 20s and we could locally even get into the 30s in some places as well so some proper warm hot conditions are looking increasingly likely as we do progress around that 15th to 20th of august point so do remember if you enjoy my videos make sure you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description so you start on the live radio you can see a widely dry day today a few spotty showers in the far south and some heavier pulses of rain are going to start to move in for the southern parts of the republic of Ireland through this afternoon and will spread north of the and we actually do have a rain warning issued for a couple hours overnight tonight for parts of northern ireland so we'll have a look at that briefly but really uh, only impacting a few areas and expiring in, uh, expiring around the early hours of the morning uh, but still could see around an inch of rainfall falling as we do see these heavy thundery showers coming up against the hot and humid air so said it's a pretty stunning day today the hottest day we've had in quite a while and those temperatures are widely getting up towards the mid 20s today now we're calling this around 1 p.m and these are the top temperatures as of now uh and you can see the best temperatures around that midlands area into northern england I said mid to high 20s around the 3 or 4 p.m point we're expecting around the 27 or 28 degree mark so really really quite nice now if you go over to the weather warnings you better see we do have this rain warning issued for four hours tonight uh, from 8 p.m until 2 a.m for eastern parts of northern ireland it's heavy rain coming in from that heavy thundery uh, uh area of precipitation from the southwest 10 to 15 millimeters could fall in a few hours 20 to 30 millimeters locally and given wet ground some localized flooding is possible uh, especially where runoffs occur and of course it's a bit, it, it, there's risk of some thunderstorms in it so a few rumbles of thunder are also possible high likelihood lower end of the impact matrix so yes, if you're on these regions, there could be some very heavy rain overnight, but really shouldn't impact too many areas, as it should clear by the time people are up for work, uh, etc. If you go over to the UKV, we'll be able to see the precipitation and the temperatures over the next five days, and you can see the rest of this afternoon really quite pleasant. A few heavy thundery showers could break out for North Wales, an isolated shower for the East Midlands, but again be touch and go where those do occur you see the heavier rain pushing into the far west of the proper island really pep uh, pepping up over northern ireland some heavy persistent thundery rain there for a couple of hours for it spread to north and eastwards and it could impact some areas of northern scotland for the early hours of the morning but for most it's actually clear by lunchtime now there'll be a few showers through tomorrow afternoon a few heavy thundery showers especially in the north and the west so it's still going to be pretty warm and humid tomorrow but there's more showers so it will mean the best temperatures are a little bit more spotty than they are today where they are widely very warm as we progress through friday to saturday we do see some more heavy rain spreading from the west and more uh, more of these thunderstorms breaking out through saturday afternoon uh, and quite uh, quite more uh, quite widespread as well and they are larger in size really quite intense perhaps the far east and the far south being the best places but even there not uh, not without any risk at all as we progress into Sunday, you could see some more showers break out in the afternoon. And through Sunday evening, we actually see a persistent area of very heavy thundery rain moving to South Wales, parts of the Midlands and Northwest England. You need to keep a very close eye on that, as that could be really quite intense through Monday. Uh, but there's a lot of uncertainty as it is four or five days away now, but more widespread heavy thundery showers as we progress through Monday into Tuesday. But I said, we to the end of this next working week, in around seven days' time, things are going to start to turn much warmer and much drier. 
And if you look at the upper air temperatures, you can see they are very high at the moment, widely in the low to even mid-teens. Should slowly get swept away over the coming hours and uh, the coming days. But we could still see some warm air linger in the east, and this is generally still average for the time of year. So we're still likely to see temperatures into the low 20s. And you see the warm, humid air is never too far away, of course, near continent. It will fuel areas of rain, especially that thundery rain through Monday, perhaps. As you can see, a little area of very hot, humid air is wrapped around that little center of that system. So again, we've got to keep a close eye on that. Now, if you look at the two meter max temperatures, you can see today widely in the mid 20s, as high as 27 or even a local 28 is possible. Really nice, best we've seen in a while. Into tomorrow, could still see mid 20s, 26, maybe even an ice age 27 in the east, but getting uh, cooler and a little bit wetter in the north and west again more showers around by saturday things are starting to cool off significantly more down toward the low 20s at best as those warm air is swept away but still decent as we head into sunday 21 to 23 and into monday again maybe 21 to 23 again but isolated where we don't see the cloud and persistent rain but we'll be looking widely at days like today if we do see that longer term outlook come off which is looking increasingly likely so if you go over to the gfs and see what the future of this potential very warm hot or even heat wave as we do progress through the middle of august you can see the low pressure coming in off the atlantic over the coming days and that is getting get cooler but more unsettled conditions still pretty decent still low 20s in many places as we saw in the ukv but just not quite as hot uh, as it's been uh, 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 even yesterday today uh, and potentially tomorrow as well we can see by Wednesday, high pressure is starting to build in uh, to our north and east. Looks pretty weak initially, but it strengthens as we progress to next weekend. This is where the southeasterly wind really gets going. So it'll start to warm up from around the middle to end of next working week and start to potentially hot up by next weekend. So it is in that 7 to 10 day time frame. So it is still reasonably uncertain, but all the models are on board with this. And majority of the ensembles are as well. So I do think there is a very good chance we do see this sort of pattern. But just because of the time frame it is evolving, that it is evolving in, we can't say for certain. But very, very good runs today for hot and dry conditions. You can continue to see that southeasterly wind persistently from this GFS run all the way to 384 hours again some lower pressure bay of biscay uh, low pressure system there a bit of a cutoff low with some thunderstorms could try to move in right in the extended range but here we're seeing persistent hot dry weather most likely reaching heat wave levels at times as well so do you look at those raw upper air temperatures you can see initially as we head into the middle of next week the air mass isn't actually that warm yet but things will be rapidly increasing in temperature as we do progress onwards by next thursday the 15 degrees firm is starting to creep up from the south and by the next weekend that's when we see the proper hot air arriving so we'll be warming up through uh, from around wednesday onwards next week and then the real hot air starts to arrive look at that the 15 degree ice firm pretty much engulfing all of england most of wales up towards scotland republic of ireland and northern ireland even the 20 degree ice firm gets close right in the longer range and you can see it never really goes away keeping us very warm and quite hot for the foreseeable future now you can see we are around 8 to 10 degrees above average persistently from this gfs run with no let up and that heat will just build if we look at the two meter temperatures for this associated gfs run uh we'll only really be able to have a look at the midday temperatures but you can see here Low 20s by next Friday, by next Saturday, get over to the mid to high 20s, 25 to 28, widely there. By next Sunday, again, touching maybe 29, into the next Monday, widely again, 28, 29, high, uh, mid to high 20s again, mid to high 20s again, mid to high 20s again. And you can see for about a week here, we're seeing widely mid to high 20s, stunning conditions again these temperatures would be a couple of degrees higher if we saw this earlier in the summer but because we are getting to the latter point of summer it does mean that those temperatures will be a couple of degrees cooler than if we were during peak time of the year as we are looking at sort of the early 20s of august here but regardless it'd be very humid very warm and really quite stunning 
summer conditions. And if we do have a look at the accumulated precipitation associated with this, you can see all this rainfall falls in the next sort of five days or so. You can see that all falling in the next few days. And beyond that, we see nothing really in most southern and eastern areas. Maybe a few thunderstorms for southern parts of the Republic of Ireland, South Wales and South West England. But for the majority, it is bone dry, very warm, even quite hot, and potentially even reaching heat wave levels in certain regions. Now, the GM is pretty similar. Low pressure running through the next couple of days. The high pressure builds in by next Wednesday, Thursday, and then really gets going next weekend with a very strong southwesterly, uh, sorry, southeasterly wind, 15 degree ice firm, uh, ice firm moving in, even the 20 degree ice firm getting close. The temperature deviation, once again, you can see 8 to 10 degrees above average. We zoom in to have a look at the United Kingdom look. Again, we're looking at low 20s to mid 20s by next Saturday. And remember, it takes a couple of days for this heat to build. Uh, and we, again, expect really warm conditions to see across northern France getting into the low 30s there. As you can see, the very hot air is very close by. We'd expect to be seeing similar conditions by, uh, by next Sunday, Monday time. So GM very, very similar to the GFS, at least by the end of next working week, with very warm, hot air mass moving up from the south, giving widely very nice conditions with the potential to even reach heat wave levels as we do progress into the latter part of August. If we do compare to the ECMWF, again, low pressure running enough for the Atlantic, high pressure building by the middle of next week, and very similar, very strong southeasterly winds. The only risk we do have with this sort of scenario is this low out to the west. If it's slightly stronger, slightly further eastwards, then we could see more showers mixing in. Probably wouldn't uh, it wouldn't push the hot air away at all, but it would potentially mix in more showers. You can see here, very hot. Widely the 15 degree ice firm moves in, and even the 20 degree ice firm gets in the far southeast, getting high as 12 degrees above average, perhaps into the far southeast. Uh, and if we do zoom in in the United Kingdom, look, you can see the 20 degree ice firm just clips parts of Kent there. And if we look at the two meter temperatures, we're widely again looking at low to mid 20s by next weekend and probably a lot higher when we do reach the following days as we've got that intense air mass drifting in again. It takes a couple of days to reach the surface, the hottest air uh, sort of to, to move through. So we'd be looking at more very intense hot days as we do progress beyond that again most likely in the mid to high 20s widely but locally could get into the low 30s as well would be very very nice indeed but we've seen the three main operational runs going through and we've seen patterns like that before for the main three operational runs and it hasn't come off but the reason why we are relatively confident is because of the ensembles if we start on the gfs you can see very distinct rise in our prayer temperatures from about 90 percent of the ensemble members here from around the 18th to the 24th of August. You can see, very warm at the moment, drops down towards average for a few days from around Saturday, Sunday, all the way through to around Tuesday time. And then it starts to climb by next Wednesday, Thursday, reaching very warm conditions in around 10 days time. So by sort of next weekend, uh, with widely upper air temperatures around that 50 degree mark, that's where the averages, with some getting as high as 20 degrees, quite a few actually, maybe around a third getting up towards the 20 degree mark and it's quite sustained as well even towards the 24th of august a number of days after the hottest air arrives we're still five degrees above average and you can see maybe a handful of ensemble, run, or ensemble runs at average or below average precipitation is much lower as well not zero as i said because of that low to a west it could introduce showers and thunderstorms at times but Majority of ensemble members are very dry. The dew point is rising as well. It will be as humid as it is now, maybe even more humid than that with some of these hotter runs. And the two-meter temperatures look amazing. Look at that. Mid-20s at the moment, getting up towards widely mid-20s in this period, maybe into the low 30s from some of those hotter runs that get close to that 20-degree isotherm. So it would be very nice indeed. Now, if you finish by looking at the ECMWF run, you can see... It is very similar towards average around the 17th, 18th the next week, rising well above average, more around the 15 degree mark, but still quite a few up towards the 20 degree mark, including the operational run. We see a bit of a drop off, but it's very similar to the GFS run in terms of its shape. 
more precipitation here, but again, there are more ensemble members, so you'd expect that, perhaps slightly higher signal of more uh, low pressure sneaking in off the Atlantic. But we're not expecting anything stormy or very unsettled, just generally perhaps some thunderstorms. And the two meters temperatures are responding to that widely mid-20s, maybe even getting towards the 30 degree mark as we do head beyond that. So it's looking very warm, if not very hot, in the longer term. And this really has ramped up in the last couple of days. We've had the hints for a while, but really has ramped up in the last couple of days, this potential. And it's looking pretty likely now. We'd really have to see quite a big model wobble for this not to at least come off for a period of, the, of at least a few days. Whether it will remain for like a week, like the GFS shows, we'd have to, we'll have to see and wait until we head into next week. But at the moment, it is looking highly likely that we do see some very hot air arrive from the southeast, at least giving some very warm hot conditions for a number of days. And then either it lasts for longer, or we see a big thundery breakdown as that low comes in off the Atlantic. So let's see what happens. Uh, we've got very warm conditions around uh, today and tomorrow, so do make sure you stay safe, stay hydrated. And of course, if you are enjoying warm weather and a bit disappointed this period we've seen right now, only the last couple of days, then give it maybe four or five more days and we'll start to see that warmth return once again. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.